topic of this tutorial is figuring out how Arch Labs works, meaning Arch Labs is Arch Linux, come based with OpenBox, taking the look of Bunsen Labs. So we really should talk about preferences, OpenBox. So all these menus are about OpenBox. We have the menu, we're looking at the menu. This is the menu. It's an XML file, we can open the XML file. We can edit it, we can delete it, we can change the name, we can make it from logout, type logging out, and, and all that. We can change it, there's no problem. Everything is editable. Then, don't save, then what can we do more? We can change as well the RCXML, which is what's, what's that. So a lot of settings are in here. The ones we've installed in another tutorial, so the NDSLMIMC, the layout of these buttons up here, is written in this file. How, what the borders, active on screen display, all the settings of open box, how many um, desktops you have, uh, desktop one, desktop two, four, and so on. But mainly, a lot of keybind keys. So these guys, guys here, the shortcut keys, are also in here. Shift, Alt, Left. Windows F4, Windows D, Toggle Show Desktop, Toggle Decoration. So all these things are written in a file which you can edit and change. What else? Edit Auto Start, what's that? That's a file that's going to start every time you boot. Do you want your Lumeric Lock on or not? Do you want XF Settings Daemon on or not? So all these lines will run, the X saver, X screen saver will run. So the startup, yeah, it's, it's not simple as that. It's auto starts every application you like. For instance, Bluetooth, for instance, Variety, for instance, Dropbox, for instance, InSync, for instance, and so on. Applications you like to start. What else? The GUI menu editor does not work yet. The, um, we are at version plus three they've forgotten to install the menu editor so we have to install it ourselves no biggie but we should do it and then the graphic user in in uh, voila, graphic user interface configuration tool is the one we've explained already to change our theme so that's okay it's another tutorial and we have our key binds also an interesting program which is our open box key so our keyboard shortcuts can be done in this file we just saw earlier on, or we can do it graphically. And for instance, go to Tunar. Tunar is going to be, let's open it up, Super F. So when I press Super, which is in Windows, F, something happens. There is a file manager. And so any of these will work. Super T, Super T, Termite. A terminal so that's also interesting and then what else open box that's the one we've had and when we change anything I always take restart so up open box you see it flicker and then you know open box has restarted if you changed any of these settings in, in the files or something like that then you can rerun it and now everything is applied so that's about open box these elements are here and we'll go into details in another tutorial about making keys and all that